Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.startwiththeloom.com and welcome to my 2018 12-week countdown to Christmas. This is published every Friday until the 7th of December. This is episode 10 of 12 in my countdown to Christmas series. Today's project is this one. It can be used as a stocking filler or for children to exchange gifts with their friends. The candy cane I'm using is on the large side. They measure about seven and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches where the hook is. In metric, that's just over 18 centimeters by 5.7 centimeters. This is episode 10 of 12 in my Countdown to Christmas series. I'm using the Candy Cane Season Photopolymer Stamp Set. This has a coordinating punch which you can buy together with it as a bundle but for today's project we're not using the punch we're just only going to be using the stamp set. The cardstock you need is Poppy Parade. I've cut this at four and a quarter inches by eleven and one eighth inches to make my pouch. In metric that will be ten point eight by twenty eight point three centimeters. Whisper White. This is cut at two and a half inches by eight inches. In metric that's six point three five by twenty point three or you can cut a DSP the same size as this instead. You need a piece of Whisper White which will go on the front of the box here and that measures two and a half inches by two and a quarter inches in metric that 6.35 by 5.7 centimeters. We're going to be doing quite a bit of stamping and I've mounted my stamps on blocks H G, B and A. Inks we are using are Poppy Parade, Shaded Spruce and Coastal Cabana. Poppy Parade Textured Weave Ribbon. Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes. You'll also need a craft knife and a self-healing mat. Now this is non-SU. As it's photopolymer I'm using a foam mat underneath as a cushion. I'm using this image here with all the ho 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 words as my background paper. So I'm just going to stamp that on Whisper White, ink it up with shaded spruce. Just going to put a little bit of fast fuse there to that just to remove some of the sticky and obviously to remove the ink on my finger I don't know how it got there but um, to stop that little bit of card from moving because it's so tiny so ink it up with shaded spruce and I'm just going to stamp the sentiment at the bottom I'm changing ink to Poppy Parade and stamping the candy canes. I'm going to stamp the holly leaves next. You can see there are two step stamping. This solid image I will stamp off first so that it's a lighter shade. Followed by the other stamp. And I'll see if I can get that centre. These little dots are for the berries, so we'll stamp that there as well. Switch to my Coastal Cabana ink and I'll stamp these little beauties here. Set the stamp pieces aside and now we can get on with the cutting and scoring. So take your 11 and a quarter inch piece by four and a quarter inch cardstock and put the long side on top you want to score at eight and a quarter and eight and five eighths in metric that will be 21 centimeters by 21.9 centimeters rotate it clockwise 90 degrees and with a short side on top you score at three eight inches Three quarter inches, three and a half inches, 
and three and seven eighth inches. So in metric, that will be one centimeters, one point nine centimeters, eight point nine, and nine point eight centimeters. Now you want to cut the tabs, so you cut right across to that second score line there. Okay, do the same for the opposite side. Want to snip off the little square at the outside. So now your box looks like this. A little notch out of that. And do the same for this side. Now you want to leave that straight but you want to angle the tab a little bit here. The reason why is this will give you a guide when you're folding the box as to where your tab will go. So you need that as a straight edge. If you angle it, then your box might become crooked when you assemble it. There's a method in the madness. Okay, these two bits here you want to cut away. So cut along that score line. I'm going to use a glue dot and put it on the tabs here. And here. And I'm going to run tear and tape on the outer tab here. and here. Take the protective backing off, fold up the excess so it doesn't stick where you don't want it to. Pop this one on. So this is the front of the box, this is the way it should go. I keep saying box but it really is a pouch. So let's adhere that to the front. Now that's going to slip and slide around a bit so you need to allow it time to bond. So while we're waiting for that to bond, you need your craft knife and your self-healing mat. Take the candy cane and just lie it on top of there. Take your craft knife and just make a slit say uh, about the width of your ribbon doesn't have to be very accurate as long as it's big enough you won't see it anyway okay so there's a slot for the ribbon thread it through the hole You can see where um, I sort of started stamping on the back and I wasn't happy with the finish so then I used my emergency side. Leave that there. We need to assemble the box. Now you want to assemble the box and it, you sort of got to do two things at the same time. You want to fold that back with the front of your box. If I stand it up, it might be easier to do. That's it. Stand it up, push it down so it's level, and grab the bone folder and make sure it's sealed down. Now the reason I do it this way is so that this bit can go all the way in and cover up the flaps. Okay, so that's why you need Tombow instead of the double sided, the tear and tape. So pop that in, pop your cane in, and tie a bow. So 
last thing to do is just pop the enamel shapes onto the project. This is a last minute addition. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share it on Facebook and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed on my blog at blog.stampwithlane.com. You can find me on Pinterest, Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.